Here Davis the crew chief has the plate. You see some around him. That's kind of low. Yeah, yeah, you know what's kind of weird is that we're, we're kind of like in a bowl, right? Yes. Where did they come from? Up top and then work their way down? I don't know. Danny seemed to think they came over head, which would have been from the first base side. Okay. My sense of direction isn't isn't too great. They seem to appear right where Skip Schumacher was, yeah. but as you guys mentioned, they're very low. They're very low to the mound right now, and again, they're sort of going in circles. Um, like you guys said, they got to get out of here somehow. But uh, it'll be interesting if they do a delay. Well, there are many, many more. Guys, just like you mentioned, they're all on that microphone. There's just hundreds of them on that microphone for, for the Fox microphone down there on the field. But the players in the clubhouse just sitting in the dugout right now watching this unravel, uh, just sort of congregating and looking at the bees, just like all the rest of us, and just tons of people leaving in those seats behind a home plate there. But uh, a few security guys and grounds crew coming down here now trying to assess it and figure out what to do next. Is it on the other mic too? It is. It's on the other side also, I think. Wow, look at that thing just growing. Guys, uh, Austin Hedge is here. He's got a full mask on right now, if you can see it. Hey, Austin, he's ready. He's got his bats, a mask, a hoodie. These guys are all talking about bee stings down here, but Austin Hedges, he does not want to be stung no. as of right now. So he's covered up. He's protected, guys. To save the day, B-Man has arrived at Petco Park in San Diego. Yes. Oh, yeah. We'll see you later. You and all your B friends. <laughs> He's covered in bees, but he doesn't care because he has his bionic powers. 